Hi, I'm Ken Shorley. I'm a percussionist from Canada. I'm back with another frame drum tutorial. Today, I'm going to focus on how to get basic fives using only the four basic strokes. Dum, tek, ka, and pa. There's obviously a lot more you can do with fives. You can fill, you can elaborate, lots of variations. But today, this is just the basic fives. Now, every grouping of five is one of two things. It's either a long grouping followed by a short. In other words, a grouping of three then a grouping of two, or it's the opposite. A short grouping and a long grouping. A two plus a three. So we'll go through both today, starting with what's sometimes called a quick and a slow. Well, you can think of it as a short and a long, or a two plus a three, okay? Quick, slow, quick, slow, quick, slow, quick, slow. So there's two levels of rhythm going on. One is the beginning of each grouping. Da, 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 da quick, slow, but for you to really make sense of it, you have to hear all of the pulses. Da 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 one two one two three one two one two three one two one two three. Let's start with a nice moderate tempo and just using dum and tec. One two one two three one two one two three one two one two three quick slow pulsation, the five itself, has to be internal. You've got to hear it somewhere in your consciousness, okay? One, two, three, four. So this, that's what I'm perceiving inside. You can use a metronome to externalize that, so you can hear beep, 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 if that helps. But for these to really start flowing, you need to internalize that feeling. Da, 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 da. Okay, now there's variations on that, but before we do that, I want to show you, just using those four strokes, dum, tek, ka, and pa, how you can have two other basic fives, okay? One, just using dums. And all the spaces between will get filled as we create variations emphasize the beginning of each grouping, the quick and the slow, the two and the three, just with doom, doom and doom, 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 okay? There's also alternating between doom and pa. One, two, one, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, one, two, three, doom and pa and doom, pa, pa. So there's three versions. Doom, tack and a doom, tack and a doom, tack and a doom, tack and a doom, tack. We're all dooms, doom, 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 doom. Count the pulses. Da da da. One two one two three. One two one two. Ba 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 ba. Or doom and pa. Okay, let's start filling in these same basic shapes. We'll go back to the first one with dum at the beginning of the two and tech at the beginning of the three. Dum and tech and a. Uh. We'll add a ka on the last beat, the fifth pulse, to create a pattern that kind of grooves a little bit more. One, two, three, four, five. So on pulse five, you're up here with a ka. One, two, three, four, five. Five is still emphasizing uh, two plus three because that tech gives an accent to the beginning of the group of three. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. 
more variations, which is essentially just adding in extra cuz to fill in the space. Okay? So let's put a ka between dum and tek. Dum ka tek, ka dum ka tek, ka dum ka tek, ka one, two, one, two, three. Try not to make the cuz too heavy. Keep the emphasis on the dum and tek. So we'll, we'll now go back and forth between uh, the pattern that's just doom, tech, ka, and the extra ka, doom, ka, tech, ka. So I would treat the more filled in one like a variation. It doesn't happen every time. You're really doing this one. And then you can use that extra ka as a fill. I'm going to do it right now every fourth time. So I'll play three times without it, just doom, tech, Ka. And the fourth time, dum ka tek ka. Okay? One, two, one, two, three, one, two, here we go. Dum tek ka dum tek ka dum tek ka dum ka tek ka. One, two, three, four. Variation. variation, you can tell there's one pulse that doesn't have a drum stroke on it. It's technically the fourth pulse. Dum ka tek ka. Dum ka tek ka. One, two, three, four, five. So let's fill that in now. We can add an extra ka, which means tek ka ka, playing two ka's in a row. Okay? Sounds like this. One, two, three, four, five. Dum ka tek ka. depends on what effect you want. If you want to have a continuous stream, a very busy pattern. Something very trancy, that's cool. I typically would use that type of a pattern where every pulse is filled in. I'd use it as a variation. I'd use it as a fill. So I'd keep a more open, spacious pattern as my main groove, and then I would plug that in every so often. So for instance, the... Let's do slowly what I was just doing, which is I have two different phrases. The basic pattern, doom, tech, ka, I did three times, and then I filled in once, doom, ka, tech, ka, ka, to create a phrase of four. Then the second phrase of four, I did the basic pattern twice, doom, tech, ka, doom, tech, ka, and the fill twice, doom, ka, tech, ka, ka, doom, ka, tech, ka, ka. Okay? You don't have to do something that's this specific, that's this, um, you know, pre-composed. You can just improvise your variations. But for now, just for practice, let's slow the tempo down and try this whole phrase. So three basics and a variation, then two basics, two variations, for a total of eight groups of five. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Variation, basic twice, Variation twice. Beginning. One, two, three. Variation. B. 
basic variation. Okay, great. Now, remember, if that phrase or any phrase that you see in these videos seems to be coming at you too quickly, use the YouTube controls under this video to slow it down. You can take it down to three quarters of the speed, which is 0.75, or even half the speed, which is 0.5, and then spend time with it slowly, and then when it feels comfortable, speed it back up to the regular tempo. Okay, now we can do exactly what we just did using the two other basic structures that we did at the beginning of the video. Dum dum and dum pa. Dum dum, one, two, one, two, three. The first variation is that we add the ka on the fifth pulse. One, two, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Next variation, we add another ka between the two dums. Dum ka dum ka dum ka dum ka. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. And then we can also fill in all of the five pulses. One, two, Adding an extra ka. Dum ka dum ka ka dum ka dum ka ka. Okay. So dum 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 dum. Add the next one. The other variation that's left is dum pa. Same sequence. Dum pa, uh, uh, dum pa, uh, uh. then dum pa, ka dum pa, ka dum. Then dum ka pa, ka dum ka pa, ka dum. And then fill in dum ka pa, ka, ka dum ka pa. Now, you may ask yourself, why bother going through all these different versions? Five is five, right? Well, yeah. Rhythmically, there's nothing different in what we're doing, whether we're choosing dum tech as our main structure, dum dum as our main structure, dum pa as our main structure. But on the frame drum, especially one of, of any size, this is an 18 inch 
Cooperman Tar. This is this is my sort of go-to frame gram for lap style. The textures are so different, and even the physical feeling is so different. Doom Tech, there's this kind of motion in the arm that you don't get when you're doing two dooms. Doom Pa has a, a different feeling. It's kind of rotating back and forth, but without this movement. So for me, partially the fun is mixing those up. Melodically also, you can create different patterns. Whether you want a long tone, doom, doom, whether you want a very clipped, choked sound with the pa, or bit of a bit of um, like a two note melody dum pa dum ta dum tech because these drums are also very tonal you can enjoy variations on that even though the rhythm you're playing is the same so let's go through now and mix it up i'm going to freestyle i'm not going to freestyle but i'm going to do spontaneous combinations and i invite you to join me you don't have to follow exactly what i'm doing at exactly the right time you can do your own your own flow I'm only using the patterns that we've done in this video. Either doom, tack, ka, doom, and all the variations of that, or doom, doom, ka, doom, doom, and the filled in variations of that, or doom, pa, doom, pa. I'm not gonna add anything else besides that, but I am going to flow back and forth between them freely so that I can create different, different drum melodies, different drum phrases. Let's increase the tempo a little bit, and again, if it's too fast, just slow this video down using the YouTube controls. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. admit I, I threw in something that we didn't do doom, doom, ba, doom. so rather than adding the ka on the end so you caught me sorry I'll try to behave myself I hope you enjoyed this. This is uh, part one, I realized, of basic fives. The other one will go through a similar sequence, but we're going to do patterns where the, the long pattern, the slow pattern, the grouping of three comes first. Okay, I'll save that for the next video. If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do give me a thumbs up and uh, stay tuned for more videos.